So these cluster galaxies, the white ones we're seeing as they looked, about the time the Sun and the Earth formed. And then behind the cluster, we have uh, the, clus the, the, the gravity of the cluster is distorting and warping our view of what's behind. And so there are these galaxies that look stretched and pulled, kind of like, like they've been magnified because they've been magnified by the gravity of the cluster, just like Einstein said they would. And you know, it's really, there's so much detail here. We're seeing these galaxies in a way that we've never been able to see before. There's just a sharpness and a clarity we've never had. Webb got spectra to figure out what those galaxies are made of, and this is that one. We're seeing as it looked 13.1 billion years in the past, less than a billion years after the Big Bang, and we're seeing the elements of oxygen and hydrogen as well as neon. You know, this is the kind, this is how the oxygen in our bodies was made in stars, in galaxies, and we're seeing that process get started. What we did was we observed a transit of an exoplanet. We observed the planet as it passed in front of the star. Now, mind you, this is not a direct image. This is an indirect image. So we've seen the effect of what happens when the planet and its atmosphere passes in front of the star. The starlight filters through the atmosphere. And then you can break that down into wavelengths of light. What you're seeing here is a telltale <laughs> signature, the chemical fingerprint of water vapor in these atmospheres, in the, in the atmosphere of this specific exoplanet. And the other thing we can tell actually is that there's evidence of clouds and hazes because the water features are not quite as large as we predicted. So we can take that and infer that there are presence of clouds and hazes. So this is a planetary nebula. It's caused by a dying star that has expelled a large fraction of its mass over in successive waves. You see this kind of bubbly, uh, you know, almost foamy appearance throughout the whole nebula with some very structured uh, shells. But the, and this foaminess is showing up in orange mainly. And this is, this is due to the molecular hydrogen that's newly formed in the expansion, uh, just lighting up the gas and dust of this nebula. And then as we move inward, you see this kind of very uh, blue haze in the inner region. And this is actually due to very hot ionized gas that emits well in the blue um, that's heated by the core, the leftover very hot core of this star. Right there. So there's also rays in the outer regions that you can kind of see, and these are holes in the inner nebula that are actually allowing the, the central star's light to come out and kind of light it up like, uh, you know, patchy clouds with the sun shining through. So this is, it looks quite different in color, um, partly because we're, we're seeing different kinds of physics going on here. So we're actually seeing in the blue, you see a lot of blue. The blue is actually due to hydrocarbon grains that are emitting very strongly in the blue for Miri. And they show the very similar structures to what we see in orange and near cam because the, the hydrocarbon, the molecular hydrocarbon actually forms on the surface of dust grains. And so again, as we move inward, we, we see that, that the inner region is again hot ionized gas, but now it glows red because that's where it emits longest for, uh, strongest for Miri wavelengths. So we are looking at five galaxies. Galaxies are uh, this giant structure that, as we've seen, we see everywhere around us in the universe, they contain from million to hundred billions of stars. And in fact, we live in one of them, the Milky Way. And here we see uh, five of them. This is a, a closer um, a galaxy uh, in the foreground. And these four are uh, at a distance of about uh, uh, 300 uh, million light years from us and are locked in a close interaction, a sort of cosmic dance driven by the uh, gravitational force. Um, you can see here yeah, these two uh, in a process of merging uh, within each other. This is a very important image uh, uh, and, uh, and area to study because it really shows uh, the type of interaction that drives the evolution of galaxies. That, that, uh, that's the mechanism of galaxies grow. This stunning vista of the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula reveals new details about this vast stellar nursery. Today, for the first time, we're seeing brand new stars that were previously completely hidden from our view. First of all, in general, the Carina Nebula is a nearby star forming region within our own Milky Way galaxy, about 7,600 light years away. Um, and in this view, we see some great examples, first of all, of hundreds of new stars that we've never seen before. 
We see examples of bubbles and cavities and jets that are being blown out by these newborn stars. We even see some galaxies sort of lurking in the background up here. We see examples of structures that honestly we don't even know what they are.